the cute cute lovers? I love puppies. They all look alike, so all of them are cute. Oh, look at that one. He looks different from the rest, but he's as cute as them. Come here, puppy. Come here. of purebred dogs will grow up to look very much like their parents. But when the parents are of a mixed breed, the puppy's looks and behavior will be more varied. But before we can begin to understand the rules that govern how inherited characteristics are passed from parent to offspring, we need to understand the basic biological concept of how chromosomes behave during the fertilization of an embryo. That's why we'll join Miss Gakpo a master teacher in biology at Ramon Magsaysay High School and 2010 Outstanding Science Teacher Awardee as she explains to her students the amazing process of mitosis. Hey! Are you hurt? Are you in pain? Do you need a doctor? Or a stretcher? Relax guys, it's just a scratch. I only bandaged it so no dirt can get into the wound. But what if it does not heal? Don't worry, it will heal. When one gets an injury, the cell replicates and heals the wound. But... Paolo is right. Mitosis allows normal body processes to take place, like growing of hair, nails, shedding of skin, and even healing the wound. Cell division is an essential aspect of life. It enables a multicellular organism to grow and reach the adult size. It also replaces worn out or damaged cells and keeps the total number of cells in an adult organism relatively constant. A series of stages in the life of the cell is called the cell cycle. Can you name some stages, Paolo? A cell cycle consists of the preparatory phase or the interface, the actual cell division or mitosis, and the cytokinesis or the division of the cytoplasm. Very good! So we'll start with the interface stage or the preparatory stage. It is the longest stage in the cell cycle. Typically, it lasts at least 90% of the total requirement in the cell cycle. During interface stage, the cell might appear resting, but actually it's not. It's undergoing many metabolic processes like doubling of chromosomes, organelles, and of course, at this stage, the cell is growing. But interface is a lot of other subphases, right? That's right, Brian. Interface is made up of three different stages. We have the G1 or GAP1. S means DNA synthesis, and G2 means GAP2. Synthesis of DNA is the main event in the interface. The first subphase is designated as G1 or GAP1. G stands for GAP, referring to the gap between cell division and the DNA synthesis. It is characterized by an increase in the supply of proteins in the number of the cell organelles, particularly mitochondria and ribosomes, and in the size of the cell. In the S stage or synthesis stage, the cell makes another copy of its chromosome, which are composed of DNA, together with the protein attached to them. The synthesis phase is characterized mainly by DNA synthesis or replication. The 
identical copies of each chromosomes that result from replication are called sister chromatids. These sister chromatids remain attached to each other at a point of centromere. Next is G2 or GAP2. It spans from the completion of DNA synthesis to the actual mitotic division. It prepares the cell for chromosomal separation. It is characterized by the synthesis of mitochondria and ribosomes. The synthesis of the microtubules and protein that will form the mitotic spindle fibers and chromosomal condensation. Each chromosome has constriction point called the centromere, which divides the chromosome into two sections or arms. The short arm of the chromosome is labeled the P arm. The long arm of the chromosome is labeled the Q arm. But ma'am, when does the actual cell division happen? Mitosis is often used synonymously with cell division. Cell divides into two basic stages. The division of the nucleus and its content to produce two daughter nuclei, known as karyokinesis. And the second one is the division of the cytoplasm to produce two daughter cells, known as cytokinesis. The combination of cytokinesis and mitosis makes up the mitotic phase of the cell cycle, the M phase. Mitosis is divided into four phases. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. In an actual dividing cell, the process is continuous. Each phase smoothly flows into the next phase. Mitosis is described as a dynamic continuum. Ma'am, what changes did the nucleus and cytoplasm undergo during prophase? The duplicated chromosome, which is initially thin and thread-like, will become tightly coiled and folded, thus appearing as a short, thick, and distinct structure under the microscope. The nucleoli disappear. In the cytoplasm, the mitotic spindle, which is composed of microtubules, begins to form from the centrioles, which at the same time begin to move away from each other toward opposite sides of the cell. Later in the prophase stage, the nuclear envelope breaks into fragments. With the nuclear envelope gone, some of the microtubules emerging from centriole reach highly condensed chromosome and attach the protein structure called kinetochore at the centromere region. Other spindle microtubules make contact with other microtubules coming from the opposite pole. Ma'am, I have a question. What happens with the chromosomes when the cell enters into metaphase? Chromatids begin moving toward the center of the cell, a line in the middle along the equator. The spindle microtubules attached to the individual kinetochores pull the sister chromatids toward the center of the cell, with each centromere equidistant from each pole of the cell. Now what happens after prophase and metaphase? The next stage of mitosis is the anaphase. Among the four stages of mitosis, anaphase is the shortest. Each sister chromatid is now a full-fledged chromosome, called the daughter chromosome. Anaphase ends when all the daughter chromosomes have moved to their respective poles. Each pole has a complete set of chromosomes. Mom, now's the time for the two daughter cells to form, right? Really? This stage is characterized by the formation of nuclear envelope around each set of chromosomes. The chromosomes uncoil and once again appear thread-like under the microscope. Nucleoli appear at the end of the telophase 
the mitotic spindles disappear and the equal division of one nucleus into two identical daughter nuclei is completed. And finally, the cytoplasm divides. Ah. Cytokinesis is the final phase of the cell division, characterized mainly by the division of cytoplasm. This phase usually starts in the late anaphase or in the early telophase. It occurs differently in plant and animal cells. In plant cells, cellulose deposits accumulate in the equator, forming a structure called cell plate, from which the cell wall forms. A new plasma membrane extends across both sides of the cell plate. In animal cells, the cytoplasm divides by the formation of the group called cleavage furrow starting from both of the edge of the membrane fusing toward the center of the cell. It finally pinches off to form two new daughter cells. Fun way to memorize the stages of mitosis is through hand signal. My students here will show you how. Ready? are done during the interface and are preceded by the previous cycle of mitosis to cytokinesis. Exactly! I now see that you really appreciate the role cell division plays in your own growth and development. puppies that look like their parents, in mitosis, each daughter cell is genetically identical to the mother cell. Hence, it can perform the same function as the parent cell. And because mitosis promotes the growth of an organism or repairs of worn-out parts, this process is critical for population growth. Each cell is important because without one, cells cannot group to form body tissue. And when a cell cycle is affected in any point by harmful compounds from, say, smoking, growth of an organism is threatened and population growth is hampered. That's not good because we'll no longer see more cute puppies like these. Hey puppies, wait for me! Bye, K-Hubbers! See you next time!